Welcome to our tutorial on multi-factor authentication for provider login. In this tutorial, we'll show you how the multi-factor authentication or MFA process works when you log into your user account. When multi-factor authentication, also called two-factor authentication, is in place, users are required to enter two forms of authentication to log in. For example, this might be your username and password and a one-time use code. Our TRICARE for You system requires you have a valid email address and phone number associated with your user profile to send you this code. Phone numbers must not include an extension or the call option will not work. Codes are random, computer-generated, six-digit numbers. The TRICARE4U.com web staff does not have access to these codes. The code will expire after 30 minutes if not used. When validated, the code session will be active for 8 hours. This code is validated and synchronized to your specific IP address. If you change devices, you will need to request a new code. If the code is sent via email, you will receive a short message with the six-digit number. You may need to check junk or spam folders. If the code is sent via phone, you will receive an actual call, not a text. The caller ID should be 608-977-9190. Let's walk through how this process works on TryCareForYou.com. Level 1 authentication is something you already know, such as your username and password. Enter those, then click the Login button to proceed to Level 2. For Level 2, or the second part of the authentication process, you can choose to receive a one-time randomized code by email or by phone. Again, if your phone number is not a direct number, the phone call option will not work. The MFA system will not navigate extensions, interactive voice recognition IVRs, or phone trees. Make your choice by clicking either the email or phone button. After you make your selection, do not close the internet session you have open at TricareForYou.com. If you select the email option or receive phone calls through your computer, open a separate browser window or tab to retrieve those codes. You'll receive an email or a phone call with your six-digit code. Enter that code into the Code field, then click the Validate Code button. Once the system validates the code, you'll be logged in to your user account. Here is an example of the message you'll receive if you request the MFA code via email. Here's an example of what you'll hear if you request the MFA code via telephone call. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this presentation and found it useful. Please follow us and like us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at the addresses listed on screen.